Hi, I'm Tom with Evolution Industries and I'm going to walk you through our valve plate manual. We'll make a check socket and a definitive socket with the VMP007 valve plate from Evolution. From there, you will be able to install any one of our component configurations. And now we will do the check socket where I will mount the valve plate to the distal end. We will also scotch cast the check socket and that will enable us to perform a dynamic alignment. Here's a list of tools that we will use in section one. A drill with an eighth inch drill bit, a four millimeter wrench, a utility knife with a new blade, some plumber's putty, three inch scotch cast, a small bucket of water, one pair of rubber gloves, some synthetic grease, the VV01001 valve starter kit, four 20 millimeter set screws, and a four hole adapter, male or female, we are using a male today. If you haven't used our components before, I suggest purchasing the valve starter kit, the VV01001, which includes the VMP007 valve plate, the lamination plate or puck, the expulsion housing which has the enlarged center hole, the vacuum valve housing which has a smaller threaded hole, the lamination housing, you get two expulsion duct bill valves, you get two small sealing washers, one large sealing washer, a small orange LimLogic seal, a 90 degree barb, a 3 8 spacer plate to be used with the 90 degree barb, and our wrench tool, the WT001. The starter kit also includes the valve plate manual, which will follow along this tutorial video, and also the component configurations, which I will go further into detail later in this video. And remember, you can always order individual components in the starter kit anytime from Evolution. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to, going to lubricate the threads of the housing dummy with a synthetic grease. And we use a th synthetic grease because if you use petroleum jelly or Vaseline, that can, add that can act like a wick with the resin or the Evo bond. So we insert it into the plate, rotate it clockwise, use the wrench tool and tighten it down until it's flat even with the bottom of the plate. And then we attach a four hole adapter, I'm using a male pyramid, 20 millimeter set screws. Then on the back side of the plate, we use our plumbing putty. And first we're going to fill the center hole of the housing dummy. Make it nice and even flat. And then just gonna, going to cover the back side of the screws. And I will put that into the jig and tighten the screws. I want to add a little more synthetic grease to the top surface of the dummy. That way it will easily release from the Evo bond. Now that we have our plate mounted in our jig, we want to find the height of our socket, which will be about a quarter inch off the plate. And that allows us to create a nice layer of the Evo bond to prevent any weak spots from the dummy. Once we get about a quarter inch off the plate, you want to use your 60 to 80 grit sandpaper and rough up the distal end.
And then we use our Evo Bond, available here at Evolution Industries. It's a fast setting adhesive. And first, we fill in around the house, housing dummy, covering the top. And then we cover the back sides of all four screw holes. And then we just make sure we have a nice even layer. And we swing our socket back on and come straight down. And let that set for about two minutes to cure. Now that the Evo bond is fully set, we can remove it, remove the mold from the alignment jig. And we can prepare it to scotch cast it. For that, we want to come two to three inches proximal to the plate, and with the same 60 to 80 grit sandpaper, just want to rough it up all around. There we go. And we put on our rubber gloves before we open the scotch cast. Dunk the scotch cast in the water, try to squeeze out all the air. Leave it in there for about 15 to 20 seconds till it softens up some. Try to squeeze out a little bit of excess of the water. Then at the top of your, where you roughed it up, you come around two or three times. You can move down. Once you get two or three good layers on the mold and on the Evo bond, then you want to rope it into the groove of the plate. Do two layers of that, and then you can come back onto the socket. And then just rub it nice and smooth for a couple minutes until it sets. Okay, I can feel it starting to warm up, so it's starting to set. So and I can use my sharp knife, come around and trim the excess off around the plate. And also while I'm waiting for it to set, I can remove my adapter. And then I use my drill with the eighth inch bit, go through the center hole and drill into the plaster. And most times, as long as the mold isn't bulbous, you can use an air hose and blow the pet G right off the cast. So I remove the housing dummy. And once that is out, you can look at our component configuration guide 
and decide which setup is most suitable for your patient. After shaping and smoothing this check socket, it is now ready for dynamic alignment and you can use any of our valve configurations suitable for your patient. You can find our com component configuration guide in a starter kit or on our website www.evoii.com. Once you're sure about a proper fit, you can proceed to section 2 where I will walk you through fabricating a definitive socket using our valve plate.